I don't know how you exactly start your first YouTube video. Can I ask a rhetorical question? So how did this all start? I don't Jeremy, know. why don't you tell us how it started? I don't know. I mean, I've had an 06 Forerunner and I've started putting stuff on it and then everybody else just kind of jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> So long story short, Jonathan and I have been around the automotive industry since we were kids. We drove, before it was Tacoma, it was pickups, and they were customized, and usually mine, we ended up with a supercharger and exhaust and John's, you know, big old tires, and that's what we did. Our roots, yeah. really. So it's like, okay, why not make it a thing, you know? And, and so that's that's how Off-Road Place, you know, came, came to happen. But we're not gonna be like the other things that are out there. We'll be a little bit different, obviously. How are we different? Well, so this is a G-rated video. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> no, I think we're, we're different because we're not uh, jumping into something and trying to figure it out. We go out and, and test what we've done and we know what we like, what we don't like. and um, That way we can we actually know what we like and what we can recommend. Um, and that's I think that's a key point is we're not just just recommending the big ticket items and the, and the, the highest, you know, king lift and all that stuff. And you say king, but I just, I'm about to put some big kings on my forerunner. Yeah, Oops. but that's what you want. That's right? what I want, that's, yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah. everyone has It's has trial and error. Needs. When you go and jump it, you realize, ah, <laughs> I need a little bit more. Yeah, because you know? what happened uh, the last time you jumped it last Well, my week? steering wheel came back and it was like this. Yeah. <laughs> on the way back, Yeah. You know? And then And then Ben's left to do another alignment. Yeah. Yeah, and what did what did Ben? What did you say? It'll never be right again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'll never ba be back the way it used to be before yeah. you jumped it. Yeah, yeah. So this is my 2006 Forerunner. I've had this. I bought this uh, when I was a service advisor, like in '08, and I've had it ever since. Uh, so it's got the ARB Steel Deluxe old school bumper, which has been a little used and abused, but it holds up really, really well. Uh, Factor 55 winch that we, and then the X2Os are also the same winch that's in the Tacoma. I believe Brian has an X2O, Jonathan has an X2O. So I just like them because I've used them for forever. But yeah, uh, Method Deep wheels, I think 4.25 offset, because I do have <clears throat> double shocks in the front, um, and then Total Chaos links in the rear, and then RCI skids from uh, front to back. And Sherpa Equipment Co, uh, roof rack and then the extreme LED light, and then with another tent, obviously, on the Flinders tent. So, Switch Pros, I've got three spots left because I actually have the Baja uh, lights, the rock lights, that are gonna go in these slots here and then uh, underneath in the shocks. But yeah, I like it. It's a Jax or Trail Jax, um, and it's, I have been told by my wife that I, I spend more money or pay more attention to my forerunner than I do her, which is okay. But it is kind of like my silent girlfriend. So in the back, uh, this is through through two north, true north, uh, high clearance bumper with the spare tire and the swing out, and then a Gobi rack so that I can get up onto the forerunner. And then we have the Baja RTL rear tail light in the back. Pretty cool. This thing holds up really well. And then I just actually. Uh, Roy, I think at v -Locks, we just put these on uh, today. Relationship with, with a bunch of manufacturers, uh, which is awesome. Uh, one of our biggest one is, is ARB, and they actually bring their vehicles in here, and, and Ben works on a number of the ARB vehicles. There'll be more footage and videos about that later. Um, but Brian, if you can tell us some of the other manufacturers. We, um, we run a lot of Toy Tech, Icon, King, Fox, Total Chaos, RCI, Method, Baja Designs, and uh, a bunch more. Anything that we need, we can get. What do we use a lot as far as camping, and, and what do you recommend? Um, for me, I have an eye camper because I can fit my whole family of four in there, so it takes up my whole roof, but uh, everyone else is running the ARB pop-up tents. But uh, for me, it's, it's, it was about family, so I, I needed this. specific, please. it's the Flanders tent. Oh, sorry. Yes. Oh, I do have an ARB dual zone fridge. So I can have ice cream for the kids. <laughs> 73 quarts. Uh, it takes up a lot of juice. <laughs> but our last outing, you never gave me an ice cream sandwich, though. So. I have some ice pops if you want one. No, I'm okay. <laughs> I want ice cream sandwiches. First off, what is the name of your Lexus GX460? So right now, it doesn't really have a name. Uh, right now, my Instagram is DFW underscore GX. 
but uh, yeah. How about, this how about this? If anybody has some names <laughs> out there for his GX, uh, we are definitely looking for some, and uh, and we we'll, we might choose from uh, from the comments. <laughs> Maybe so, we'll call it "Buy Once, Cry Once." <laughs> so whatever you think fits this GX, mm. this beast. We we were going with Shamu. Uh, but we haven't really settled anything, so so yeah, leave a, leave a name in the comments for this bad boy. Oh, let's see, we got the Icon Stage 8, uh, the billet suspension, the method wheels running the 35 inch KM, or KM3s. or uh, KM All the lights are Baja designs, uh, running the Linux to run all the lights and the air lockers. Oh, ARB air lockers and the compressor. What else? Uh, we got the Expedition 1 bumper in the rear. The I can't pretend the DV8 bumper in the front with the Factor 55 Ultra Hook on a Smitty built 10,000 pound winch. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. Oh, we are running what EBC brakes. Uh, I'm going to be upgrading to the power brakes soon, whenever they wear out, because these are noisy and they throw a lot of dust. Um, oh, we're running the Dobinson snorkel with the uh, what's that called? The mushroom tip. Cyclone. The cyclone. cyclone. <laughs> mushroom tip. Mushroom, mushroom. Shame on you. What'd you? Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You, what'd you call it? The mushroom tip. <laughs> I, I get. I see how you arrived at that. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but it, this is a. This, this thing has come a long way. Yeah, it, it escalated quickly. It, it did. <laughs> you need the. Uh, what is it, Anchorman? Yeah. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. So yeah, this is it. This is a family family adventure rig. Nice. So this is Lunar Trooper. Um, but yeah, this is a 21 TRD Pro Tacoma. So I've had this about a, about a year uh, in November. And so it's kind of evolved. First, I was just gonna do a Westcott lift and not do anything else, just put 33s on there. It escalated quickly, as Brian would say, uh, very quickly. And uh, Brian told me, YOLO. So I went ahead and, uh, and got it outfitted. I have 2.5 Fox coilovers with resis, uh, 17 inch 703 method wheels, uh, upgraded to 35 inch tires uh, just about a month ago. And in order to do that, I had to get the front bumper, the re-gear, um, body mount relocation, what else? There was quite a bit we had to do. I have full, full RCI skids uh, underneath. Also running the ARB uh, flounders, blinders, blinders, tent, uh, an ARB awning, light bar, roof rack, ARB base rack, um, and then I have a Cali raised uh, bed rack. Not too much interior. I do have the ARB links ran, so all my lights and my compressor uh, front locker all go through links, which is which is awesome. Um, and that's pretty much the main components. But yeah, I, lo I love this truck. It's probably my favorite Toyota that I've owned, and I've had FJs and 4Runners uh, since you know since I was 15. Uh, and this is definitely my I think my favorite. Ben's the shy one of the bunch, uh, but he's our lead off-road tech, uh, and he's he's the sole installer on all of these vehicles for off-road place and and tons more but that I've we've helped done. Some. Yeah, Jeremy some. does some install. Some, I help. I, I like to chop. Pick up and stuff when he drops them. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't do much installing. I, I I try to leave that to the professionals. Most of what I typically do do are lifts and wheels and tires, trimming, uh, bumpers, uh, wiring lights, uh, installing air compressors, installing tents, roof racks. A little welding here and there. Yeah, just started getting into welding, uh, just to clear bigger tires. Would you say, Ben, that you are a perfectionist? Yes. Somewhat. Yes. Yes. When I yes. look at the wiring, when I look at the wiring harnesses and all the, all the stuff that he puts together, uh, it's done really well. Everything is tagged and like labeled. It mm -hmm. makes you really judgy too when you're watching YouTube videos and you look under someone's hood and you see a bunch of spaghetti. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, dude, what were they thinking? Yeah. yeah. I'm very OCD when it comes to wiring. Mm -hmm. yeah. And cutting. I'm like, just cut it. Just cut it. No. So no, throughout, no. throughout all these builds, every wiring job has gotten better. Yeah. yeah. We have Ben coming up. Now this is going to be the shortest walk around you've ever seen. Just kidding. More to come.
As of right now. As of right now. Yeah, so this is a 2022 Toyota Foreigner in Lunar Rock. As of right now, it is plain Jane. Nothing has been done to it. But I do have a pile of parts ready for it to be installed. Yeah, that's, that's Ben's parts. The tires? Yeah, so, he, so he's, he's close to being, he's just waiting on the suspension, ARB, the BP51s, right? Yeah, I'll be running a Old Man Emu BP51 suspension all the way around and then installing a CBI skid plates and rock sliders. And then I'm also gonna be running a winch in the front bumper, a worn Evo. And then in the back, I will have a rigged spare tire carrier. He's about a month away, but he's almost, he's almost got everything in, so he, then he can actually start driving. The, he, he comes out with us a lot, but he'll actually be able to take this thing out. So he's actually be, waiting for Jonathan to install all this stuff. <laughs> That's why it's taking so long. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, we are big Toyota people. The point is, we just wanted to, to talk about what Off-Road Place is and what we, what we focus on and what we like doing. Um, we're not just an install shop, you know, but we actually go out on, on the trails and, and do a lot of content everywhere we go. So make sure you hit the like button, ring the bell, and subscribe so that you can uh, see more Off-Road Place content coming at you. Because you will not want to miss it, I promise you.